When the weather turns warm, one of the most frequent requests I receive is what to do about midlife arms. So today we're going to talk about three options for styling midlife arms when it's warm outside. The first option is a kimono sleeve. Made in the style of the Japanese kimono, the sleeve is loose fitting and still allows air to flow around the skin while covering the upper arm. I don't know what it is about the arms in midlife years, but we all get a little bit chubbier, or most of us get a little bit chubbier in the arm area. And this is probably the first year I'm not that crazy about showing my arms anymore. So the nice thing about the kimono sleeve is that it also covers the midlife midsection. As you can see here, we've styled both the arms and the midsection with one blouse. So this is a really good option for midlife women. This blouse here is from Amazon and under $40. Let me say this again. I love the YouTube tradition of when you comment stating where you're commenting from. I love reading through the comments and seeing that women all over the world are coming together to watch these videos. So when you comment below, let me know where you are, where you live, where you're commenting from. I've had people comment from cruise ships in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. That was so exciting. So even if you don't have anything to say, just drop me a comment let, letting me know where, where in the world you are right now. So here I'm just showing another way to style this kimono blouse. I also have a video on five ways to style the same blouse in black if you need some ideas. As always, shop your closet first, see what you have in your own closet before you buy anything new. And once you've made that assessment of what's in your closet, it's totally okay to supplement your wardrobe when necessary. But don't ever feel like this channel is shop, shop, shop. We always see what we have in the closet first. The second option is a flutter sleeve, but this season I'm seeing it referred to as an angel sleeve as well, and I love that title. But it's a little bit of a flutter to it, as if the wind would blow it a little bit. And again, we're covering the upper arms, but still allowing air and the breeze to move around the skin in order to cool it as the months get warmer. Here I have styled it with pinstriped culottes. Love this look. I love the way this look comes together. Very classy, very elegant, and very spring.
Next, I'm showing the same angel sleeve blouse with ankle pants for more of an office look. Some of you ladies have asked for workwear looks lately. I am still working, but in the midlife years, I understand that women start to transition out of the workforce. And certainly after the COVID years, not as many of us are in the office as we used to be. Um, I'm a lawyer, so obviously for court, I have to wear suit. I have to look professional. But I still have to do that at home sometimes too because I spend a lot of time on Zoom calls and in Zoom court. So here is a potential office look, work look for those of us that are still working. This next blouse is a more dramatic flutter sleeve. This would be a great blouse for hot when it's really hot outside because it really allows a lot of air to flow around. And I'm holding my arms up and turning sideways so you can see how much it shows underneath the armpit area. Um, this is a blouse that I bought for myself for my birthday, my 50th birthday this year. And I love the dramatic sleeves. It also feels very feminine to me as well. But because the blouse is oversized, it's important to style this with a fitted pant or skirt. It's balancing loose and fitted is the fashion principle. So in general, you want to balance a loose top with fitted pants or a loose skirt with a fitted top. Here is another way to style it. A word about these beige pants here. I will link to a similar pair, but these pants are from Express. Express filed for bankruptcy this week, and I was very saddened by that because in the 1990s, Express was my store. Pretty much all of my clothing came from Express back then. So the links that I provide aside of YouTube are provided by LTK and LTK disabled our express links this week. So I'm very saddened by this, but I only had two pieces that I showed from express and I'll link to something similar in the description below. Reasonable minds can debate this next option, but fashion experts say that a diagonal cut sleeve creates a slimming effect on the arms. Not everyone agrees on this, and I'm showing you, I'm going to show you two different diagonal sleeves. I think this one creates a slimming effect on my arms, but the next one I'm not so sure about. At any rate, I just love this baby blue color for spring. This one has a slight pinstripe to it. I do have this front tucked, and you know how I feel about tucking. In the midlife years, we all have a little extra around the midsection, and tucking creates more bulk in that area, but I just barely have it front tucked. You could also use fashion tape to hold this up without creating that bulk of tucking. So here's where the debate begins. This is a sleeve that's cut on an angle, and I'm including it because it is a super cute top. But I don't think it has a slimming effect on my arms. In fact, I think it has the opposite effect of making them look bulkier than what they are. And to be clear, 
you can work your arms as much as you want in the midlife years because I do. I want to hit the golf ball as far as I can hit it, so I lift as as heavy as I can. But I still have bat wings, and that doesn't matter how much weight I lose, how toned my arms are, I still have bat wings. And I think it's genetic for the most part because my it's the same as my sisters and my mother. So just know that, you know, this may not be something that you can fix through diet and exercise. You just have to deal with it. And I'm interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think a diagonal sleeve creates a slimming effect on arms or do you think it creates the opposite effect or even has no effect either way? I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. And I'm just going to show you one more way to style this flutter sleeve top. This is a really cute top and it's a good price and so that's why I included. So we're going to show it with a white denim skirt here. A little bit longer denim skirt. I'm from that, you know, the old school that the skirt should not be more than two inches above your knee. I know, call me old fashioned, but let me tell you a little story. When I was in high school, if a teacher believed your skirt was too short and we had a rule that it had to be two inches or less above your knee, you had to go to the principal's office and kneel on the floor and they would measure your skirt from the ground. No lie, it was completely humiliating. So most of us just didn't wear skirts to school. So let me hear your thoughts about these options in the comments below, and don't forget to tell me where you're commenting from. I love it. Until we meet again, my friends.